Design as a verb, to design is the intentional creation of a plan or specification for the construction of an object or system or for the implementation of an activity or process. Design as a noun, a design can refer to such a plan or specification, e.g., a drawing or other document, or to the created object, etc., and features of it such as aesthetic, functional, economic, or socio-political. The process of creating a design can be brief, a quick sketch, or lengthy and complicated, involving considerable research, negotiation, reflection, modeling, interactive adjustment and redesign. In some cases, the direct construction of an object without an explicit prior plan such as in craftwork and some engineering, coding, and graphic design is also considered to be a design activity. Design can have different connotations in different fields of application see design disciplines below. Topic Definitions Everyone designs who devises courses of action aimed at changing existing situations into preferred ones. More formally, design has been defined as follows Noun a specification of an object, manifested by an agent, intended to accomplish goals, in a particular environment, using a set of primitive components, satisfying a set of requirements, subject to constraints, verb, transitive to create a design, in an environment where the designer operates. Another definition for design is a road map or a strategic approach for someone to achieve a unique expectation. It defines the specifications, plans, parameters, costs, activities, processes and how and what to do within legal, political, social, environmental, safety and economic constraints in achieving that objective. Here, a Specification can be manifested as either a plan or a finished product, and primitives are the elements from which the design object is composed. The person designing is called a designer, which is also a term used for people who work professionally in one of the various design areas usually specifying which area is being dealt with such as a textile designer, fashion designer, product designer, concept designer, web designer or interior designer. A designer's sequence of activities is called a design process, while the scientific study of design is called design science. Another definition of design is planning to manufacture an object, system, component, or structure. Thus, the word design can be used as a noun or a verb. In a broader sense, design is an applied art and engineering that integrates with technology. While the definition of design is fairly broad, design has a myriad of specifications that professionals utilize in their fields. Major examples of design are architectural blueprints, engineering drawings, business processes, circuit diagrams, and sewing patterns. Topic. Design as a process Substantial disagreement exists concerning how designers in many fields, whether amateur or professional, alone or in teams, produce designs. Keyes Dorst and Judith Dykehouse, both designers themselves, argued that, There are many ways of describing design processes and discussed two basic and fundamentally different ways, both of which have several names. The prevailing view has been called the rational model, technical problem solving, and 
the reason-centric perspective. The alternative view has been called reflection in action, evolutionary design, co-evolution, and the action-centric perspective. Topic: The rational model. The rational model was independently developed by Herbert A. Simon, an American scientist, and Gerhard Pahl and Wolfgang Beitz, two German engineering design theorists. It posits that designers attempt to optimize a design candidate for known constraints and objectives. The design process is plan-driven. The design process is understood in terms of a discrete sequence of stages. The rational model is based on a rationalist philosophy and underlies the waterfall model, systems development life cycle, and much of the engineering design literature. According to the rationalist philosophy, design is informed by research and knowledge in a predictable and controlled manner. Topic. Example sequence of stages Typical stages consistent with the rational model include the following Pre-production design Design brief or party pre, an early often the beginning statement of design goals Analysis, analysis of current design goals Research, investigating similar design solutions in the field or related topics. Specification, specifying requirements of a design solution for a product, product design specification or service. Problem solving, conceptualizing and documenting design solutions. Presentation, presenting design solutions. Design during production Development, continuation and improvement of a designed solution Testing, in situ testing of a designed solution Post-production design feedback for future designs Implementation, introducing the designed solution into the environment Evaluation and conclusion, summary of process and results, including constructive criticism and suggestions for future improvements. Redesign, any or all stages in the design process repeated with corrections made at any time before, during, or after production. Each stage has many associated best practices. Topic. Criticism of the rational model The rational model has been widely criticized on two primary grounds. Designers do not work this way. Extensive empirical evidence has demonstrated that designers do not act as the rational model suggests. Unrealistic assumptions, goals are often unknown when a design project begins, and the requirements and constraints continue to change. The action-centric model The action-centric perspective is a label given to a collection of interrelated concepts, which are antithetical to the rational model. It posits that Designers use creativity and emotion to generate design candidates The design process is improvised no universal sequence of stages is apparent. Analysis, design, and implementation are contemporary and inextricably linked. The action centric perspective is based on an empiricist philosophy and broadly consistent with the agile approach and amethodical development. Substantial empirical evidence supports the veracity of this perspective in describing the actions of real designers. 
Like the rational model, the action-centric model sees design as informed by research and knowledge. However, research and knowledge are brought into the design process through the judgment and common sense of designers, by designers thinking on their feet, more than through the predictable and controlled process stipulated by the rational model. Descriptions of design activities At least two views of design activity are consistent with the action-centric perspective. Both involve three basic activities. In the reflection in action paradigm, designers alternate between framing, making moves, and evaluating moves. Framing refers to conceptualizing the problem, i.e., defining goals and objectives. A move is a tentative design decision. The evaluation process may lead to further moves in the design. In the sense making covolution implementation framework, designers alternate between its three titular activities. Sense making includes both framing and evaluating moves. Implementation is the process of constructing the design object. Covolution is the process where the design agent simultaneously refines its mental picture of the design object based on its mental picture of the context, and vice versa. The concept of the design cycle is understood as a circular time structure, which may start with the thinking of an idea, then expressing it by the use of visual or verbal means of communication design tools, the sharing and perceiving of the expressed idea, and finally starting a new cycle with the critical rethinking of the perceived idea. Anderson points out that this concept emphasizes the importance of the means of expression, which at the same time are means of perception of any design ideas. <laughs> <laughs> design disciplines Philosophies and studies of design There are countless philosophies for guiding design as design values and its accompanying aspects within modern design vary, both between different schools of thought and among practicing designers. Design philosophies are usually for determining design goals. A design goal may range from solving the least significant individual problem of the smallest element, to the most holistic influential utopian goals. Design goals are usually for guiding design. However, conflicts over immediate and minor goals may lead to questioning the purpose of design, perhaps to set better long-term or ultimate goals. John Heskett, a 20th-century British writer on design claimed, design, stripped to its essence, can be defined as the human nature to shape and make our environment in ways without precedent in nature, to serve our needs and give meaning to our lives. Topic. Philosophies for guiding design Design philosophies are fundamental guiding principles that dictate how a designer approaches his, her practice. Reflections on material culture and environmental concerns sustainable design can guide a design philosophy. One example is the First Things First manifesto which was launched within the graphic design community and states. We propose a reversal of priorities in favor of more useful, lasting and democratic forms of communication, a mind shift away from product marketing and toward the exploration and production of a new kind of meaning. 
The scope of debate is shrinking, it must expand. Consumerism is running uncontested, it must be challenged by other perspectives expressed, in part, through the visual languages and resources of design. In The Sciences of the Artificial by polymath Herbert A. Simon, the author asserts design to be a meta-discipline of all professions. Engineers are not the only professional designers. Everyone designs who devises courses of action aimed at changing existing situations into preferred ones. The intellectual activity that produces material artifacts is no different fundamentally from the one that prescribes remedies for a sick patient or the one that devises a new sales plan for a company or a social welfare policy for a state. Design, so construed, is the core of all professional training, it is the principal mark that distinguishes the professions from the sciences. Schools of engineering, as well as schools of architecture, business, education, law, and medicine, are all centrally concerned with the process of design. <laughs> Approaches to design A design approach is a general philosophy that may or may not include a guide for specific methods. Some are to guide the overall goal of the design. Other approaches are to guide the tendencies of the designer. A combination of approaches may be used if they don't conflict. Some popular approaches include Sociotechnical system design, a philosophy and tools for participative designing of work arrangements and supporting processes, for organizational purpose, quality, safety, economics and customer requirements in core work processes, the quality of people's experience at work and the needs of society. KISS principle, keep it simple stupid, which strives to eliminate unnecessary complications. There is more than one way to do it TIMTOWTDI, a philosophy to allow multiple methods of doing the same thing. Use-centered design, which focuses on the goals and tasks associated with the use of the artifact, rather than focusing on the end user. User-centered design, which focuses on the needs, wants, and limitations of the end user of the designed artifact. Critical design uses designed artifacts as an embodied critique or commentary on existing values, morals, and practices in a culture. Service design designing or organizing the experience around a product and the service associated with a product's use. Transgenerational design, the practice of making products and environments compatible with those physical and sensory impairments associated with human aging and which limit major activities of daily living. Speculative design – The speculative design process doesn't necessarily define a specific problem to solve, but establishes a provocative starting point from which a design process emerges. The result is an evolution of fluctuating iteration and reflection using designed objects to provoke questions and stimulate discussion in academic and research settings. Participatory design, originally cooperative design, now often co-design, is the practice of collective creativity to design, attempting to actively involve all stakeholders, e.g. employees, partners, customers, citizens, end users in the design process to help ensure the result meets their needs and is usable. Participatory design is an approach which is focused on processes and procedures of design and is not a design style. <laughs> <laughs> Methods of designing Design methods is a broad area that focuses on 
Exploring possibilities and constraints by focusing critical thinking skills to research and define problem spaces for existing products or services or the creation of new categories see also brainstorming redefining the specifications of design solutions which can lead to better guidelines for traditional design activities graphic industrial architectural etc managing the process of exploring defining creating artifacts continually over time Prototyping possible scenarios, or solutions that incrementally or significantly improve the inherited situation. Trend spotting, understanding the trend process. Topic <laughs> Terminology. The word design is often considered ambiguous, as it is applied in varying contexts. <laughs> Design and art Today, the term design is widely associated with the applied arts as initiated by Raymond Lowy and teachings at the Bauhaus and Ulm School of Design in Germany during the 20th century. The boundaries between art and design are blurred, largely due to a range of applications both for the term art and the term design. Applied arts has been used as an umbrella term to define fields of industrial design, graphic design, fashion design, etc. The term decorative arts is a traditional term used in historical discourses to describe craft objects, and also sits within the umbrella of applied arts. In graphic arts 2D image making that ranges from photography to illustration, the distinction is often made between fine art and commercial art, based on the context within which the work is produced and how it is traded. To a degree, some methods for creating work, such as employing intuition, are shared across the disciplines within the applied arts and fine art. Mark Getline, writer, suggests the principles of design are almost instinctive, built in, natural, and part of our sense of rightness. However, the intended application and context of the resulting works will vary greatly. Topic Design and engineering In engineering, design is a component of the engineering process. Many overlapping methods and processes can be seen when comparing product design, industrial design and engineering. The American Heritage Dictionary defines design as to conceive or fashion in the mind, invent and to formulate a plan, and defines engineering as the application of scientific and mathematical principles to practical ends such as the design, manufacture, and operation of efficient and economical structures, machines, processes, and systems. Both are forms of problem solving with a defined distinction being the application of scientific and mathematical principles. The increasingly scientific focus of engineering in practice, however, has raised the importance of more new, human-centered fields of design. How much science is applied in a design is a question of what is considered science. Along with the question of what is considered science, there is social science versus natural science. Scientists at Xerox PARC made the distinction of design versus engineering at moving minds versus moving atoms, probably in contradiction to the origin of term engineering, engineer, 
from Latin ingenio, in meaning of a genius, what assumes existence of a mind, not of an atom. Topic: <laughs> Design and production. The relationship between design and production is one of planning and executing. In theory, the plan should anticipate and compensate for potential problems in the execution process. Design involves problem solving and creativity. In contrast, production involves a routine or pre-planned process. A design may also be a mere plan that does not include a production or engineering processes although a working knowledge of such processes is usually expected of designers. In some cases, it may be unnecessary or impractical to expect a designer with a broad multidisciplinary knowledge required for such designs to also have a detailed specialized knowledge of how to produce the product. Design and production are intertwined in many creative professional careers, meaning problem solving is part of execution and the reverse. As the cost of rearrangement increases, the need for separating design from production increases as well. For example, a high-budget project, such as a skyscraper, requires separating design architecture from production construction. A low-budget project, such as a locally printed office party invitation flyer, can be rearranged and printed dozens of times at the low cost of a few sheets of paper, a few drops of ink, and less than one hour's pay of a desktop publisher. This is not to say that production never involves problem-solving or creativity, nor that design always involves creativity. Designs are rarely perfect and are sometimes repetitive. The imperfection of a design may task a production position e.g. production artist, construction worker with utilizing creativity or problem-solving skills to compensate for what was overlooked in the design process. Likewise, a design may be a simple repetition copy of a known pre-existing solution, requiring minimal, if any, creativity or problem-solving skills from the designer. <laughs> Process design Process design, in contrast to Design process mentioned above refers to the planning of routine steps of a process aside from the expected result. Processes in general are treated as a product of design, not the method of design. The term originated with the industrial designing of chemical processes. With the increasing complexities of the information age, consultants and executives have found the term useful to describe the design of business processes as well as manufacturing processes. See also Design elements and principles Design-based learning Design thinking Evidence-based design